FMV is back. That's right. It's back again. This is my review on the bunker. Striker of Enyo here and full motion video games. They're back. They're making a comeback. Well, not really, but this is what that is. And you probably are wondering, well, I mean, is it any good? And I'm here to tell you no. It's on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. And uh, it's actually kind of cool. Apparently, they had access to an actual decommissioned uh, nuclear bunker uh, over there in the county of Essex, over in England. And uh, yeah, it's uh, an actual decommissioned uh, nuclear bunker, but that isn't as cool sounding as you might think. But let's get to the game and tell you about some of the mechanics. So here we go, we're talking about, uh, you basically gotta have your cursor in the right part of the screen during certain high tense moments. Just gotta put it there and you click the button, uh, either X or A, uh, depending on your console of choice. There's also ones where you have to, uh, use your cursor and grab the highlighted dot and move it in the black area. Uh, th this is what you gotta do, people, it's a FMV game. And you're going to be collecting things like these little toys. There's about, I think, nine of them or so. Uh, yeah, scattered throughout the game. This is going to be one of your collectibles. If you see one, you click on it and your character will pick it up. You're going to be reading documents, too. There's uh, an achievement or trophy for reading all the documents. And uh, it's... It's kind of okay. It basically is letting you know that something's going on. You're going to have computer screens. And this is actually kind of cool. You can actually click your cursor on the computer screen itself. Uh, you don't need to worry about doing input. But, I mean, it's a full motion video game. You'll be clicking on things in your environment while your character stands uh, idling by, grabbing documents, listening to tape recorders, and interacting with computers... This is pretty much the game. Everything is in English, but you can also hit the read command and that'll actually bring up the text uh, closer so that you can actually read what it is. But this is basically it. This is a full motion video game. You, your character is there. You're clicking on doors. You're clicking on the little uh, uh, footstep icon in order to move your character from one area to the next. And whenever you do that, you end up getting your yourself uh, a little animation not an animation but I mean you get yourself a transition of your character walking through the next area and and that's it that these are the mechanics for the game they're not gonna change they're very similar to any other full motion video game you don't have to worry about inventory like I said you click on a door you'll see uh, a little transition video and then you'll be into the next area uh, that's just how these games work there's really not much interactivity we're not talking about telltale here where you got to do a lot of uh, quick time events it's it's pretty simple and it's pretty basic you don't got to worry about a lot of stuff so now here is the story so is it any good well, so when you start off, apparently, the game even bills itself as, you know, your character is the lone survivor in a nuclear bunker. Now, how did he become the lone survivor? Well, your mom is there with you, but she pretty much dies within the first minute of her being on screen. I'm not spoiling anything for you. I mean, literally, you get to read a book or two uh, to her and she's gone. There's other actors and whatnot that are spread around, but uh, it's... <sighs> you can definitely tell they're they're basically on a budget. Like I said before, this is actually known as uh, the Kelvedon uh, Hatch nuclear bunker uh, found near Brentwood uh, in Essex County over there in England. Uh, it was decommissioned back in 1992, and uh, these places existed. Now, even though we say a nuclear bunker, uh, there is no nuclear material here. Uh, it's not where they stored nuclear warheads. It's not where the bunker itself is powered by a nuclear engine of any type. Um, these basically are just fallout shelters. Uh, but, you know, you add the word nuclear bunker and everyone's like, oh, that sounds so cool. But now it's it's just a fallout shelter. The UK government uh, or home office, they maintained these bunkers as emergency regional government defense sites. Uh, 
you know, in case of a nuclear strike, they were the whole idea was that they would still operate their government in these facilities. And this is one that particularly got decommissioned in 92. And the original landowners have opened it up as a museum. So imagine that you find out about this place and you're like, hey, you know, we could do like a video game or something. And there actually already has been a TV series that is filmed there and a movie uh, from the UK that have also used this location. So now we have a full motion video game. And it's your straps. typical stuff. There's really the not that much to it. You know, people are worried about rushes. supplies. Other people are dying from so-called radiation poisoning, but it's not radiation. It's when you actually season. know how the whole thing ends, it's... They, they try to M. Night Shyamalan you at one point where they have a twist, but it's not necessarily anything that's extremely... <sighs> It's not original. We've seen this kind of stuff before. You know, say what you will about the Telltale games and how they're more like interactive stories, but they're good stories. This game, well, we get a whole chapter of replacing a fuse. Does that sound exciting? Frick no, but that's what you gotta do. You basically have to just replace a fuse, turn off the power, stick the new one in there. Then there's a spot where you have to replace a filter. These are things that this kid should have been doing for the last 10 years, right? But it seems like he's doing it for the first time. I mean, you can put all the metal bands you want, you know, going crisscross across a filter, but it, it, it's just a filter, you know? I mean, sure, the, the area where this is at looks kind of cool. You know, the fact there's only two slots and it's put behind this this big glass-like door. I mean, it looks interesting, you know, and I can see, like, just on the merits of having a unique location to film, that's kind of cool, but unfortunately, they're going too far and they're putting too much of an, of an emphasis on the location and what they found in the location instead of actually making an interesting story. For the most part, you're all by yourself. It would make much more sense that if you were an engineer's son and you know your dad passed away and left you to do some of the maintenance and whatnot that could still keep your character by himself you know doing a few menial tasks and you learn about some other characters otherwise you're all by yourself in the future and uh there's it, it just could have been so much more interesting if there was like 20 to 30 people that were still left after 10 years and then they started dying off all of a sudden and you have to figure out what's going on um, as it is, the story in the game itself is pretty much that they tell you without much, without much fanfare that the surface has been irradiated and uh, you can't go leave the facility for the next 20 to 30 years. I don't know if they would have had that much food, but your mom basically poses the question, Are do we have enough food? And, uh, and the guy lies and says that we do, even though we know in game that there isn't enough food. And that makes a certain other character play his hand. But it's not what you're thinking. Remember the axe wielding guy on the cover of the game? The one in a mask? He doesn't even factor into anything. He's actually there for about two minutes of screen time and it's completely justified. He's actually coming after you. And from his point of view, he has a good reason to do it. But he's not a mass murdering axe wielder. He doesn't kill anybody else, but the game is kind of trying to make you think that, that this is the main antagonist and I have to take care of him. No, nope. no, he's not. He's actually completely justified. Uh, there's This is one of those types of games that tries to make it into a psychological thriller and to be quite honest you one bullet is fired during the whole thing you don't even see anyone carry around guns I mean how hard of that would have been to give some guys some BB guns and make them look like they're threatening make it look like there's guards and stuff but no unfortunately it's just a waste of your time uh, especially for full price. There's walking simulators that do a better job at conveying story. I give this a 45, below average.